What's going on guys and gals? We have another Skylander review for you. My last one of the triple pack with Drill Sergeant Whirlwind. Double Trouble. The last of the magic elements. Finally I have him. Look at the detail in him. It. It's absolutely incredible. Like It's extraordinary how amazingly detailed he is. Really a beautiful looking character. I just realized how to get a clear picture of my figurines now. Son of a gun. Well, wait now. I have so many videos up. Alright. This is Double Trouble. You get him. He's an interesting one. His voice, I feel, doesn't fit him at all. I thought it would be more deeper, like, uh, Aku Aku from Crush Bandicoot. He kind of reminds me of those mass Tiki guys, where he'd have the deep voice. He has a high-pitched voice. Alright. So this is uh, Double Trouble. My last Magic Skylander. Level 10. All his upgrades are there. He has 24 heroic challenges done. 12 armor and critical hit hat. So without further ado, let's go over his attacks. Eldritch Beam. Press A and hold to fire a beam of energy that locks on the targets. Really fun attack. Conjure Exploding Double. Summon a mindless double that seeks enemies and explodes. Arcane Eldritch Beam. Eldritch Beam attack does increased damage. Notice how it changes form too in the pictures. You know, sort of morphing. Conjure and Stable Double. Exploding doubles do increased damage. The way that works is you shoot a beam into a double and they turn huge and attack. They really are something when you master them. Press Z on the Wii Remote to summon a magic bomb. I'm sorry, it was to summon magic bombs to the attack. That's an interesting one, too. Advanced Construct Techniques. Have up to three exploding doubles active at any given time. And his path. I took the exploding doubles path, not his beam path. Clear, uh, purely for versatility. Not for pure power, for versatility in player mode. Player versus player mode. So without further ado... Imbue construct. Shoot an exploding double and it increases. Shoot an exploding double and it increases in size and damage. That's what I meant. I'm sorry. There, when you get the upgrade, you can shoot magic at them. They just turn huge. They are massive. You'll see. Rocket power doubles. Exploding doubles launch themselves at enemies and do extra damage. They literally just home in on enemies and just start whacking into them. It's my favorite attack, I think. Spirit construct. Exploding doubles form automatically when enemies are defeated. That is really, really useful. They have all these babies just everywhere. And then finally, his soul gem, Water Walker. He's not a water type, but he can fly over water. It requires a soul gem in the Lair of Chaos. That's where we are now. It's funny how he has that water thing. And I guess when we get out of here, I will show you him on water. Without further ado, let's begin. So here is his beam. See that? Second someone died, a double appeared. But I can get up to three. You shoot the beam at them. See how they just jump into them? It's, it's freaking crazy. That's his beam. And then I get a double that just emerges out of nowhere. Now. I click this, I shoot all three doubles at once. Just let them explode on the enemies and just have fun and watch. They really are something else. Oh, I get a power boost too. Sweet. He's slow. I have all the speed upgrades at the moment for him, and he's still decently slow. He's like a Ruptor. Look at that clone, it's huge. Watch this. That's the magic bomb. And I might do a video of the other path too, eventually. I got a surprise for you guys in a bit. See that? Double just exploded again. I have a surprise for you guys though. I took a different path for two Skylanders and I regret not taking it beforehand. He 
you guys may not think it's worth it to get the doubles, but I think they're more fun because in player versus player, man, you summon these guys and they just start attacking. They just home in on them and just find them. If I die here, that'll be really pathetic. I'm not very good with it. See that though? They turn huge and then. The bigger they are, the more damage they do. Look at that. Didn't have to go near him. That's why I think the doubles make up for his speed. Sure, the beam is nice and all that, but I, I highly suggest the doubles. I might just go to the beam path for fun and to also see if I can solo chaos as the rumors have it. But we'll see. Now watch this. I'm not gonna go near him. Hear those little sounds? Those are his minions. It's adorable. It's freaking hilarious, I think. So now, let's go to the ruins so I can show you him on water because I was an idiot and picked a level that won't show it. So he's he's something. I'd say Spyro is still is one of the best magic elements, but he definitely comes high up there. Beats Wrecking Ball and Voodoo, hands down. Uh, let's go in the water. Isn't that cool? Booga booga boo. He's a cool little guy. I just still find his voice so strange because it didn't. I didn't see that coming at all, but. I still love him. I love every Skylander, as lame as that sounds. Now up next, I'm going to show you his heroic challenge. Stay tuned.